This is an enormous deal. And the broader context is that this could potentially unlock shale, what people are calling shale 3.0, which would be a huge wave of M&A, big deals, big spending in the Permian, and really long laterals, which is the basically the te technique that you use to get a lot of oil out of shale. And that would be a very different place than we were in just a few years ago, where it was very much reducing capital spend. Interestingly enough, many analysts say that buying Pioneer is being CapEx sensitive because it actually longer term will cost less than having to increase CapEx to keep production even level, much less growing, funnily enough. There's a question about whether part of the reason why now this deal is happening is because regulators will be more okay with it, that actually this is going to be more amenable to both investors and to uh, regulators because of this emphasis on energy independence mm -hmm. and this idea of uh, just generally focusing, focusing a bit more on the need for fossil fuels rather than the move away. Yeah, you know, I, I, I see it twofold. I think, one, it is going to have some antitrust issues. I think this gives a lot of fodder to the Greens in D.C. to say you're spending $60 billion on fossil fuels. You're spending, you know, $17 billion in the next few years on carbon uh, solutions and low-carbon solutions. So there's that part. Um, but in terms of kind of why now, I wonder, and I'll ask the CEOs this in the next hour, um, is this actually a Scott Sheffield thing? So so Pioneer Natural Resources is like the holy grail of the Permian. Scott retired once, then he came back because they didn't like the CEO at the time, and he's retiring at the end of the year. There's also been some productivity questions for Pioneer over the last two quarters. It just basically means you've gotten all the good stuff out of the rock. There's more there, but the really juicy stuff has been drilled, and can you really get more out? Many say that that problem has been solved, but still, a productivity question. There was underperformance over the last few months of Pioneer versus its peers, and I wonder if I wonder, and I'll ask it, if that played more of a role.